forward. We got one more story, Gordon, to get to. The Jamaican fans in the chat can get to their keyboards because we're going to talk about TJ Gale, the 2019 world champion in the long jump, Gordon. He sent out a tweet. He confirmed that he's going for the 100 next year. He's going to try to compete in the 100 in 2022. A couple facts about Gale. As I mentioned, 2019 world champ. He's got a 1018 PB. Didn't make the final in the long jump last year. 25 years old. Um, Johan Blake last year had the fastest 100 by a Jamaican. It was 995. So what do you think of this decision? I saw Carl Lewis weighing in as well. So anytime there's a long jump 100 crossover, people get excited. Okay, so... We know Jamaica is not doing too well on the men's side with sprints, right? They got the women on lock, yes. all time on yes. lock. But uh, Jamaica That's loves it. to shit on uh, the U.S. women, especially Shakari, because she talks a lot. But they're awfully quiet when it comes to the men sprinting ever <laughs> since Usain Bolt has left the building. Because we're going to be honest, I think uh, now – Hasn't been good. In a relay, that's a different story, but in – you know, a, a 100 final, they know be, be wary of Team USA. So mm -hmm. let's start with what Carl Lewis said. Um, he quote tweeted uh, TJ Gill. He says, it definitely can be done, so I say go for it. Remember, the way to win two is to dominate one first. My sprinting came when the long jump was rock, was rock solid. I'm sure K Street will tell you this the same. Man, I'm struggling for reading right now. Um Kareem Street Thompson, yeah. Yeah, basically saying like in order – you can't be half and half. You have to be mm -hmm. super solid in one to go into the next. I mean, he is the, a world champion, so he has that long jump skill in him. However, has he been consistent? He kind of was like looking at – of. Oh, well, so he calls him out here. Long jump 8.5 consistently or forget it. <laughs> Gail hasn't really been long jumping 8.50 consistently. Um, no. Here's the question I have. No. Is this a move yeah. that he is saying, I can do it? Like, I can be a 9.8 guy? Or is this a move of, long jump's not giving me any love lately because I've been struggling, so I'm going to abandon it and try something else? Like, is he is he running away from the long jump or is he running towards the 100 and is he running towards the 100 because being the best in jamaica right now is way more attainable in the 100 than it's ever been and if this was a few years ago or if they had the depth that they do on the women's side would he even be trying it I, you know, he was banged up at the Olympics last year, so we'll give him a mulligan. But if you're looking at Lewis's standard of 850, well, he's run, he's jumped 869, and then his next best is 832. Certainly, I mean, 830s is enough to get the job done even. So I'd say just consistently 830s. Uh, but he's only jumped three times over 830. If this is supposed to be the savior for Jamaican men's 100-meter running, I'm not too confident. 1018. I know people are going to trot out Jacobs from Italy, former long jumper, but he was running some 10 O's many years before he he won that Olympic gold medal. And I think the best non 100 guy in Jamaica is actually Omar McLeod. Uh, he breathes broken 10 in the 100 and 999 back in 2016. So I think this tells us a little, a little bit about the state of Jamaican men's sprinting. I mean, throw this up there. Have we put up this chart if you could? Blake 995, Tracy 10 0. Uh, this is last year. Uh, Julian Forte 10 03, Ellis 10. I mean, that's let's just call it for what it is. Not good for Jamaica. It's not good. Only one sub 10 guy next year. So maybe Gail's thinking, I could do it. I could get sub 10 and then I could be on the Jamaican team. The problem is being on the Jamaican team does not mean anything anymore on the men's side in sprints. Well, it doesn't. I'm not trying to get, just get a reaction. It doesn't. It doesn't guarantee you anything. You, you, you run a 999 and you qualify for the World Championships at the Olympics. Where is that going to get you? Out of the first round, maybe it's not getting you to a final. Yeah, semifinals. Yeah, so, semi I mean, if you want to be a semifinalist. Now, heck, I say go for it. Why not? Do it. 
he should do it. I just, if I'm a Jamaican fan, I'm not resting all my hopes for the men on a 10, 18, 25 year old long jumper to come save us. Yeah. And you know, we have seen people who come out and not come out of nowhere, but weren't invested in the hundred and then come out and become all time greats in the hundred like Fred Curley. Um, and you could argue Sharika Jackson in a way, Michael Norman as well, kind of, uh, but mainly Curly. Jacobs. Jacobs. Not an, you know, not all time greats, but I think Curly. Curly wasn't. Curly was running still like ten low, and was like on the four by one at Texas A and M when he was a pure four hundred meter runner. Like yeah, when Curly was in like college age, like twenty. I guess 20 years old. He probably was like a 10-1, 10-2 guy. When yeah. Gale was college age, so five years ago, he was a 10-5 guy. Like, so that raw, like, sprint talent was already embedded in Curly. Doesn't seem to be too embedded in Gale. Now, maybe you can prove me wrong, but yeah, that's that's my takeaway. I mean, if that 10-18 was something that he ran, like, five years ago, then you can be like, all right, he does definitely has it. But 1018 as mo- recently as this past year, isn't something you don't go from 1018 to nine, eight in one year. I don't know. I just don't, I don't see that, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something in the Jamaican water. Well, he'll, he's training get inspired by Elaine Thompson. Hurrah. Stephen yeah. Francis is his, no, I'm just, I'm saying Stephen Francis is his, is his coach, so Thompson Haraz, well, we now believe her old coach. So he's seen his fair share of sprinters there at the MVP track club, and maybe he's seeing something. But I also think this is this could be a move of opportunity. This this probably isn't a move you make if getting top three in your country involves running a 9-8 versus now getting top three in your country revolves running a 10-0. It's just way easier. It's way easier. And – I never would have predicted Jacobs would be as good as he is. I never would have predicted you know, Curly Jackson. So they they adapted really well. But you're right. This is different. Like last year, he ran the 1018. You could say he wasn't training for it. That's fine. But 1018 is so far from what you need to get on the podium, which is sub 99. And probably next year, we're talking about how deep it's going to be. Maybe even sub, you know, low, low 98s potentially. I'm looking something up real quick. Gotta find Jamaica on here. I'm gonna do all. Oh, okay, never mind. Gordon's looking. Gordon's looking at something. I was looking for something up. I thought for a second that Johan Blake didn't break, only broke 10 seconds in the US at that Georgia meet, but he did break 10 seconds in Jamaica at in the, yeah. in the semifinals. Because I was like, Jamaica didn't even have a sub ten on their own soil in twenty twenty one. I was gonna say that. Maybe but, you know, maybe he can be the catalyst. Be. Maybe he can be the catalyst for for the Jamaican sprints. I mean, go to the two hundred here, Travis. Pull up the two hundred. It's rough there in the two as well. Two hundred was the first sign. I think it uh going back to nineteen. Yeah, twenty thirteen Rashid Dwyer. And then twenty eighteen Johan Blake. So they had no sub twenty last year at all or this year excuse me don't know don't know don't know i don't i want to see it i'd love to see it does he put the long jump at risk maybe but was he locked into that gold medal slot as is no i don't think so tentacle looks pretty good anthony's confident in the comments and he says Francis will get Gale into sub nine eight shape as he has done before. Sub nine eight. Sub nine eight. I love the confidence. Let's do it. Hey, I will say I'm loud wrong if if he's able to run anywhere near that fast. <laughs>